Welcome to my uh, CAO application demonstration video. So we're at that time of the year again and uh, where we're looking at our CAO applications. So that's the applications that we do to go into first year in university or in some of the other colleges like NCI or IADT. So UCD, DCU, Trinity College, Minute, all of those places. If you're applying for first year, you're doing your application now. So let's have a quick look at the CAO website. So we're just going to Google CAO. And there is their central applications office. The first thing I want to show you is important dates. So timetable of events coming up. 20th of January, apply online by this date to avail of the discounted application fee of 30 euros. So we need to get the application done by the 20th of January. You can wait until the 1st of February, but it'll cost you another 15 euros, so it'll be 45 euros if you go past the 20th of January. So it's worth getting it done on the 20th of January. You definitely have to get it done before the 1st of February. Okay, so the next thing you're going to do is click Apply. You have read those instructions, and then you're going to click Proceed with the application. All you're going to do then is fill in your details on this page, all the way down, and then you're going to pay a fee. Now, I'm just going to switch over to the CAO demo application, which you can use to practice. It's exactly the same, but I just don't want to have to pay the fee myself to get all the way into it, so I'm just using the demo application today. So, I'm just going to fill in my details. I'm not going to fill in all my correct details. Make sure all the sections are filled. You have to fill in everything correct for yourself. So you can see here the postal address is in, comes up in this box as you type it here. So if you're happy with what comes up in this box, that means that the CAO is going to post everything to this address and then you're going to click this box here and the postal address is correct. And then put in an email address for yourself. There's my email address. So if anybody is having any problems with this application or you want me to have a look at your application, if you have any questions at all about what college you want to go to next year or anything like that, feel free to send me an email to that address. It's no problem. fill in your contact telephone number. Click yes to these two questions. I recommend it to get text messages from CAO and also from HEIs. It's just a short word for colleges and universities, higher education institutions. It's a good idea to get texts from them. You have to fill in your number again, this time with your, with your code. So I've obviously done this a few times, so my uh, form suggestions are coming up, so it's quick for me. Okay, so put in your country of birth. For me, that's Ireland. Your nationality, and for me, that's Ireland. But for you, it might be something different. But put in whatever is good for you. Okay, the qualifications and assessment summary here. This is a really important part of the application. So most people who are, who are going to be filling in this application have done an Irish Leaving Cert before, so they're going to tick that box. Also, we have quite a lot of people who will be filling out this application who are doing a QQI FETAC course at the moment or have done one in the past. So you're going to tick that box there as well. So the vast majority of RapMind college students will be definitely clicking number one and there'll be a significant majority of you will be clicking number two as well. So most people are going to click one and two there. It's really important that you click the right ones there because then that is what the CAO is going to look for from your uh, exam results. So if you don't take the boxes there, it's not going to look for your exam results. So make sure you get that right. The rest of these here are, these are training courses here, courses in, or school leaving exams in the UK, school leaving exams internationally, 
different kinds of further education here that we don't do in our minds. Further level of education, so if you've done a degree before, or you've done part of a degree before, mature applicants, if you're over 23 years, before the 1st of January in 2021, you can click this box here as well. Yeah, so then you're going to go in to pay your fee. So the best way to pay the fee is with a credit or debit card. If you haven't got access to a credit or debit card, you can use somebody else's or you can use the pay fee payment form here. If you click this box here, it'll bring you in to print this form out. You print the form out and bring it to a bank. The vast majority of you though will be doing this way. So again, I'm just going to click here that the email address is the same as the one entered above and it's the same address as entered above. If, if you're using, say, your parents' card or something, you have to put in their address here. It's different. You have to accept the charges and you have to consent to supply your email and billing address to the global payments. You keep on going down. Now, in the real application, terms and conditions will appear here. This is a demo application, so I'm taking I understand the form is for practice. In the real that form, it'll say, I understand the terms and conditions. So then you pick a password for yourself. This is the password that you're going to use to log into your CIO account to check anything or to change anything or to accept any offers from colleges. So make sure this password is easy to remember, but it's not easy for somebody else to guess, okay? So we're just going to leave that as it is there now. So again, password, easy to remember, but not easy for somebody else to guess. Proceed with the demo. In your application, it'll be proceed with application. Oh, somehow I forgot to click that box. Okay, so you get this box here, which is just a summary of what you've put in there. So have a quick read of it and make sure everything is correct. So you can see here, there's my name, date of birth. I'm, I'm going to use my Irish Leave Insert and I'm going to use my QQI FeedTech exams. Brings you into the payment section there. So you're putting in your card number, expiry date, security code, cardholder name, all that sort of stuff. I can just go into the next part. Then you get this receipt. Now, crucially on this receipt, you're going to get a CAO application number. That's the number you're going to use to log in. There's your date of birth. You're going to use that date of birth to log in and the password that you already put in. Okay, so make sure all that stuff is correct and you remember it all. And there's the login there, date of birth, whatever the password was. This says demo login, but you can, it'll just say login on your application. Alrighty. So now, the next part Everybody's filling in Ratlines College in Ireland and most of you will be from 2020 to 2021. For some of you it might be from 2019 or 2018, so whatever year you start, just put it there. You can put in your other previous second level skills in here if you want to it's just for statistical purposes so it, it won't affect your application one way or the other so it's up to yourself and so those of you who are doing your leave insert this year you're going to tick this box here and those of you who did it last year are going to write in 2020 and put in your exam number now your exam number is from will be found on your leave and set results or you can get it from your old school or you can ring the Department of Education. So if you have any problems with that, just give me a shout out and with that. Now the next section here, QQI FeedTAC Level 5s. So those of you who are doing those, tick that box, this box is going to come up here. You have to put in your PPS number here, so I'm just going to put, a, put in a made up PPS number. Give me a second, I think I have one here already. Yeah. Make sure your PPS number is correct. That's really important because QQI FeeTAC will communicate with the CAO using your PPS number. So they're going to send the CAO your results based on this number. So if this number is not correct, they're not going to get your results. This section is only for people who have done exams in the UK. And this section is for people who have done exams in other parts of the world. 
This section is for training courses, not for the kind of courses that we do. And this section here is if you've done a degree before or part of a degree before. So next thing then we're going to continue with the application. And this is the page that everybody gets into when they log in to their application at any time. So if you want to get into this page again, you just click my application and you put in your CIO number, your date of birth and the password that you made up already. So just make sure that your personal details are correct. You can click the change personal details button there if it's not, you're in the edit it. Now, this is a really important part here. Here's your course choices. So you can apply for level 8 courses and you can apply for level 7 and level 6 courses in these two sections here. So let's have a look at the level 8. You can add a level 8. So you need to have the course code of the course that you're looking for. So you can click this courses button here and you can look up what you want to what you want to do. So for example, UCD look there there's all the courses there so we have quite a lot of people applying for let me see uh, joint honors this is the arts course the n520 in ucd so let's go back here and we can put in the n520 let's look up one more back to courses let's say we want to go to tu dublin Technological University Dublin, go and we pick Sustainable Energy TU801. TU801, there. That's how it works. So, what we put in number one is the course that we really want to do most. That's the one we most want to do. Number two is your second choice. Maybe you really want to do it, but not as much as number one, and so on down the line in order of your preference. Number 10 should be the one you least want to do. So that's the only thing that you should be considering in relation to this list here, what, what's, which is the one I most want to do. Don't be thinking about, oh, I won't get the points for that. It doesn't, it doesn't matter if you think you won't get the points. If you put in some courses further down the line that you think you'll get the points for, you can be offered those course choices if you don't get the points for your number one. And what will happen is the CAO will always look down the list. If you don't get number one, look at number two. If you don't get number two, look at number three. It never goes back. Never, never goes above that. So, or sorry, it never keeps going down. So, say for example, you get offered the N520 there, number one. You're never going to get offered any other down the list. But if you get offered number 10 in the next round, you could be offered number nine and number eight. That's why you have to put in the one that you most want to do, number one. If you're confused about that just send me an email and I'll set up an appointment to have a chat with you about it. The course choices anyway is not hugely important at this stage because the CAO will open up again in, in May and June for a, a change of mind so you, if you have already got an application open you can edit this list in May and June and change it around again if you want to so you don't have to make up your mind right now. Okay so once we're happy with that list we, we can click on continue with course choices. The deferred applicants are people who already have a place and they're going to take up that place for next year, so we're not going to deal with that in this video. And so then, once you've done that, you're going to have a list that's full of courses and you can see the course titles to make sure they're the ones that you want. And it's exactly the same for the level 7 and the level 6 list as well. So you can fill up that list at the same time. You can get offers from both lists so they don't cancel each other out or anything like that. Moving on then. This section here, it just shows the history of any emails that you've sent to the CAO. So if you send an email to the CAO and they send you an answer, you can see that here anytime you want. This is just your qualification section. So it's really important to make sure that your qualifications are appearing here the way you want them to appear. So. If you've done the leaving cert, they should be here. The, court, the, court, or the college that you did your leaving cert in should be here. Um, or the college that you've done your, your PLC course should be here. And also, if you're doing PLC, you should have your PPS number here. It's not showing up on this, but you should have your PPS number here as well. So make sure you have that right in your qualification and assessment section. If you want me to check it out for you, just send me an email and we can set up an appointment and I can have a look at it for you on Zoom. It's no problem. 
Now, this is for mature applicants here, so we won't deal with that today. But if you're a mature applicant and you want some help, you can send me an email. This is the disability access route, so it doesn't really apply to most people in our, our college. So if you have any questions about that, again, get in touch with me. Higher education access route is only for leave and search students. So if you have any questions about that, get in touch with me. Susie Grant, everybody who wants to apply for Susie next year can tick modify maintenance grant here. And all you have to do is say to the CAO, by ticking this box, I would like CAO to provide my details to the maintenance fee grant application authority, Susie. So, and then just tick update selection. So you're just allowing the CAO to communicate what your offers are to the Susie grant people, so you don't have to tell them yourself. It just saves you a bit of time. So that's it. That's the application for CAO. It's really quite simple when you know how, but I know that some people get confused by it, so it is really important. If you're in any way confused or you have any questions or you just want me to check your application, just send me an email. Make sure you just get this done by, the, by January the 20th anyway. Just get the fee page and your personal details in there by January the 20th. Once that's done, we can change whatever we want after that. Okay, so best of luck with the application. And a happy new year to everybody. Thanks for paying attention to this land. All the best. <laughs>